think a lot of people eat animals because we've all been told that humans are carnivores, we're omnivores, we're meat eaters, and we're supposed to be doing this. Are you aware that physiologically, the human body is actually 100% herbivorous? Plant eaters. The length of our intestines are somewhere between 7 to 13 times the length of our torso, our trunk. That's the same length of all herbivore animal intestines on this planet. They're very long. But the length of the intestines on real meat eaters, hyenas, coyotes, bears, tigers, and lions, only three to six times the length of their torso. They have a short intestinal tract so they can push through quickly decaying and rotting animal flesh, animal protein, cholesterol, saturated fat, trans fatty acids, which is why it is impossible, I repeat, impossible, for any genuine meat eater to ever clog their arteries. Never happens to a real meat eater. What's the number one killer of humans who choose to eat meat, cheese, milk, and egg? Heart disease from clogged arteries, atherosclerosis. Humans and other herbivores, we sweat through our pores to cool ourselves. We don't pant like dogs and cats and lions to cool ourselves down. No claws on the human hand. Claws are a trademark of the carnivore and the omnivore. We have carbohydrate digestive enzymes in our saliva. <coughs> Only herbivores possess that, meaning we're supposed to be eating tons of carbohydrates like fruits and vegetables. Our teeth, broad, short, blunt, flat, just like the teeth of other herbivores. And before somebody blurts out, hey Gary, what about these canines, dog? Most of the herbivores have canines incisors and molars, it would not be possible for them, for us to be eating hard fruit like apples without those teeth. Our lower jaw goes from side to side in a grinding, chewing motion like this. We grind and chew when we eat. If you grind and chew when you eat like you all do, you are an herbivore. The jaws of carnivores and omnivores can only go up and down, vertically, rip and swallow. There's no chewing, grinding, side to side action. And I'm a fair guy. I mean, if somebody out there truly believes that humans are meat eaters, I'll give you two challenges to prove me wrong after class, and please do so if you want. I want you to go outside and locate a squirrel on campus. And when you spot that squirrel, put that carnivore speed into effect that everybody has it. Chase that squirrel down, pounce on him, and catch him in your mouth. No tools, no weapons, no cages. No one's allowed to be a cheater and a fake carnivore with this challenge. And when you are done killing the squirrel in your mouth, be my guest. Eat the squirrel. Eyes, nose, face, toes, tail, anus, inner organs, blood, fur, and don't forget about the brains. You don't get to pick and choose which body parts you want to eat, and you don't get to cook it either. If people want to be real meat eaters, I'd love to see people eat raw flesh from the bone down to the bone with nothing left but the bones day after day after day. And challenge number two, find a two-year-old child. Place the child in a crib. In the crib, put two things, a live bunny rabbit and an apple. If the child eats the bunny rabbit and plays with the apple, Send me an email, would you let me know? Because I'm going to come back and buy everyone in this room a brand new car if that happens. <laughs> Benzes and Beamers, leather interior too. In fact, next time I'm at Georgia Tech, if that happens, I will eat a steak sandwich in front of everybody, chase it down with a chili dog with extra cheese, a bucket of ice cream, and a bag of beef jerky too. <coughs> and I'll take the jerky and I'll dip it in the ice cream and eat it like that. Now I would not hold my breath on these promises, not that I won't fulfill them, I'm a man of my word, but those things cannot and will not be happening because humans also possess zero carnivorous instincts, zero omnivorous instincts when we're born young and growing up. We're all born vegan. We just acquire a taste for meat, cheese, milk, and eggs after they're forced down our throats during childhood. Now, all I'm asking you to do is something normal and natural anyways. Eat what comes from the earth. 
every vitamin, mineral, and nutrient that exists, protein, calcium, iron, potassium, all the B vitamins, they have an original source and it ain't the animals. You are aware that people eat animals after the animals have already eaten from the earth. People eat cows after the cows eat up the grass, some of the soil. Then we ship them to a feedlot, feed them most of our corn, wheat, oats, and soy. Then we take more of the corn, wheat, oats, and soy, shove it down the throats of pigs and chickens and turkeys. Stop filtering your nutrients through somebody else's body. It's illogical and irrational. Go to those sources directly, fruits. Vegetables, nuts, seeds, grains, legumes, these things cannot harm you, cannot cause a disease, and more importantly, they harm no one else in the process. But when